from coast to coast and beyond, people in North America are doing fascinating things to make their cities, towns, and regions more interesting, more successful, and better places to live. Join me, Terry Bradshaw, as I explore all that's new and exciting about the USA and Canada and what people are doing in order to make a difference. It's an easy way to see what's happening across your own country. Welcome to Today in America. Hollywood is known for its use of cliches in movie and television scripts. Movie makers like a single iconic reference that represents a whole category of things. Such is the case with Muncie, Indiana, long thought to represent the typical average community in the USA, middle America in a nutshell. This municipality of 70,000 just northeast of Indianapolis, incorporated in 1865, has come to signify the mainstream American community. Most people outside of our community, I don't believe, truly understand what a positive community and image that we can portray when we're given the opportunity to do that. Long a manufacturing center, especially for glass and later steel, Muncie came upon its handle Middletown from a renowned series of sociological studies carried out during the 1920s and the 1930s. These studies were repeated decades later, making Muncie one of the most scientifically examined communities in the world and first to come to mind when thinking of middle America. Muncie's citizens like to laugh about the situation, giving rise to two Muncie alumni who have gone on to be world-class humorists, comedian, talk show host, and Ball State alumnus David Letterman and Jim Davis, who has produced the Garfield comic strip for more than 30 years. Mayor Tyler and the department heads are doing quite a bit to enhance the, the, the awareness of what we're doing in our neighborhoods. We're going out and meeting with the neighbors meeting with other community leaders to find what things we're doing right as well as the things that we need to work on. We're excited about downtown development and we're also excited about bringing new businesses into our community. Muncie has received accolades for outstanding accomplishments such as Money Magazine naming the city among the top up and coming cities under 250,000 population. Although historically a center for heavy manufacturing, Muncie's business environment is shifting to the educational and health services field with significant clusters already forming. Uh, Muncie's seeing advanced manufacturing settle in as well as assembly plants. Uh, we'd like to see more organizations that uh, support the healthcare industry and that are more IT based and we'd like to see some organizations that help Ball State University and Ivy Tech. In the health care sector, two major medical centers called Muncie Home, as well as a number of specialty clinics. There are also three important colleges in the city, Ball State University, Ivy Tech Community College, and Harrison College. The city boasts a superb grad school system with emphasis on early childhood education through a program called Success by Six. I feel ecstatic about being a part of the educational process here in Muncie. I have some of the best students here at Longfellow Elementary. They are young scholars who will be presidents, they will be teachers, leaders, lawyers, and we are doing all that we can to prepare them to be great citizens for the city of Muncie. The city offers residents and visitors a wide range of attractions, such as beautiful parks and gardens, including Prairie Creek Reservoir Park, a 2,300-acre park with a lake taking up half of that area. There are several performing arts centers, along with museums, dining, and shopping. A mecca for model airplane buffs, Muncie is home to the National Model Aviation Museum and Flying Center. I do believe that the citizens of our community are the, probably the most positive aspect of our community. The volunteerism that they offer and the way that they portray our community is our greatest asset. If there's one thing that the people of Muncie have shown the world repeatedly, it's that the citizens of the most average community in America are anything but average.